Hi, my name is Kurt Asplund and this is my studio. Oh yes, Sal. Aye, aye, Captain. May I come aboard? Absolutely. You're always welcome on board, Sal. Our shimmy me timbers. Well, hey, in today's uh, lesson, we're going to draw a 3D boat using a triangle. Yep. And then I'm going to show you how you can create distance by changing the size of something. Ooh. Okay? Yep. Are you on board, Sal? All the time. Let's go. Excellent. Let's get to drawing. Anchors away. Arr. First thing we're going to do is draw a All right, here we go. diagonal line. This will be the back of our boat. And then the far side of our boat is going to have a slight curve. Yeah, make it slight. This is almost like a, a wedge kind of mixed with a cone. And then you can see another slight curve I have drawn in order to connect those two points. So it's it is like a triangle laying flat, but with curved sides. On the back of the boat, we're going to draw a, this is the edge, a straight line, slightly angled. And then at the front end of the boat, we're going to draw a bow. All right, what about some choppy water underneath? Choppy water. Yeah. Now typically we would draw a straight line across the bottom to show that it, it is sitting on a flat plane. Mm -hmm. But in this case, you want to do scallop lines. Yeah. So it gives a sense that this is floating in water. Yeah. You know, we all have rough seas sometimes, so we don't want to make it too easy. I've drawn a couple more waves behind the boat, and I'm creating this by using overlap. The boat is overlapping those waves. Yep, yep, overlap. Makes, gives dimension and depth, I love depth. Then on the inside of our boat, drop a line from the corner, yep. in the same angle as the outside there, and then let's draw the bottom boat, and you can see how I've done that. Yeah, the bottom there, you need a place to catch all your fish when you're fishing. Oh yeah. This gives our boat a really 3D look to it. 3, 3, D, D, D. Let's draw a bench in the middle of our boat. And you can see I started that off with a, yeah. a line that matches the same direction as the side. Yeah, that's good. And I can hide underneath and eat on the fish all day long. And then as the bench goes across, it matches the same angle as the back of the boat. Yeah, you can do the fishing and I'll do the eating. That sounds like a good arrangement. Add a little thickness to the bench. Yeah, I like this, I like it a lot. And then let's go back up to the bow of the boat and we're going to add a piece of wood to give the front of the boat a bit of structure. 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 I used to go to a summer camp as a Boy Scout and wow, we'd have rowboats like these. Fun. Why don't you take me? In the tip of the rowboat, we'd always draw this. We'd always have a, a place to tie a rope up to. So that's what this little islet is at the tip of the boat. Yeah, we don't want those rowboats getting away in the tide. All right, let's, let's start to add our otter. Oh, I gotta meet, that guy looks kind of friendly. I bet you he can catch me with some fish. I a little bit of a circle. Yeah. And then drew his back, his back part of his body and his front part of her body. I don't know any otters. And similar to the water, I've added scallop lines so he's coming out of the water. Yeah, I'd like to look into this. His nose is an upside down triangle and let's give him lots of whiskers now. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what we have in common, whiskers. But I think I use mine differently than he does. He just uses Be his careful for where you place the eyes. We don't want them dead center, but push him push him toward the top of his head and to the left slightly. Mm -hmm. Small ear. 
Oh, isn't he so cute? Wow. The only cute one here is me. One of his little paws coming up out of the water there. Yep. He needs a sea urchin or something. And let's get the other paw coming out of the water as well here. Yeah. Next thing Floating. we want to do is to add some surface lines to the back of our rowboat. Yeah, get those surface lines, that gives dimension. All right, and then let's go ahead and add an island in our background here. Oh yeah, In the island I'm going to draw with two mounds to give it some variation. Make sure the mounds are a different height. Mm -hmm. And I like variety. we're gonna add a simple palm tree and some bushes. And you can see how I'm drawing those, starting off with the leaves. Yeah. The important Several thing here is, is to think of size. This island I'm drawing much smaller than the rowboat. And that gives the illusion that it is further back in space. So yeah. if you want to give the sense that something is further back, draw it smaller. The objects that are closer to us, we want to draw larger. I'm far away. Oh, I'm up close. I'm far away. Next time you're watching a cartoon, notice. Take notice of how they draw the backgrounds. Many objects in the background are much smaller than what we're watching than the objects that are closer to us. Yeah, this could work. You could just kind of look closely at a tree and then look away. That doesn't make any sense. Who am I talking? Now I'm just going back in and adding some darker definition to my waves here. Yeah, that also works with dark values. Dark values are closer, lighter values are away. Darkening in uh, some of the rowboat. Yeah, I like that, darkening it in. And, you know, this also reminds me that objects that are darker in value usually mean they are closer to us. So objects that are lighter in value means they're further I away. I just said that. How is that possible? And we're gonna give some tone to our otter here and feel free to darken in his lines as well. Some tone to our boat. Yep, give some tone here. This will make it look, uh, stand out from the page. So on that note, if, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, it keeps, keeps fish on the table. Tone to our seat. Yeah, most definitely. And, and give me a comment. Give me a comment that you subscribed and Maybe I'll send you something or reach out to you somehow. A little tone in our waves in the background. Yep, tone in the background there. You got it. Fill in the island a little bit. And I think that's about it today. Hope you liked that drawing of, of a rowboat and an otter and a desert island. Sal, what do you think? So long, mate. See you in the seven seas. Yes. <laughs> All right, Sal. Thank you very much, buddy. Okay, everyone have a great day, and we will see you tomorrow. Ciao!